Come on, game, you can do it. There we go. Enjoy. <coughs> Alright, let's do some subway platform. Muckingham Subway Station. Caldera City Transportation Network offers exciting pressure washer opportunity at its emerging infrastructure infrastructational subway facilities. Okay, owing to the steady reputational rise of Buckingham, Caldera City Transportation Network is excited to announce the reopening of its subway links to the vibrant town. We'd like you to do to deep clean the platform area ahead of the grand unveiling. Please note that whilst much of the graffiti in the facility could be said to possess artistic merit, we would like you to remove it all. Okay. Hey Lisa, how's it going? Just double checking. Did I? Okay, it's not email only. Just making sure. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's wash this thing. How much stuff is there? Oh dear God. A lot. Okay. Well. Let's go. Loading dirt. Oh my god. Sweet Jesus. Wow, this thing is huge. Damn. All right. Playing Sims 4 is only half here, no worries. That's fine. Well, you know what? Let's do the rails first, I guess. Perhaps you would like some interesting statistics on the railroad systems whilst you work? I really wouldn't. Honest to god, I would not, but sure. They're gonna do it anyway, I know. Alright, you know what? Let's actually wash one then the next, right? Maybe I'll do it like this, right? Yay. How much washing? Well, this is relaxing, right? God, look at all this dust and grime and mud and all that crap. <laughs> lol initiative. Um, I don't have dice, lol. How's it going, DJ Ponytail? <laughs> Uh... Oil, huh? That's gonna be fun to clean, I guess. Uh, how's it going? Today, I dealt with more insanity as changes to database syntax has caused massive issues. Also, DJ, sorry I missed your show, or the show on Tuesday. I keep forgetting, is it still considered your show, or it, did it, was it taken over at this point? I'm not sure how to, like, is it yours, or is it, um, other guys at this point in time? You missed it too? <laughs> it was never your show, just your station? Ah, ah, okay, now I understand.
Yeah, I missed it because I forgot it was Tuesday. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Your show is Radio Love with DJ Ponytail. Currently off air. Used to be a Friday night thing. Ah. Okay. Well, if that ever comes back alive, you definitely need to let me know so I can update your shout out. Just saying. This is gonna take a freaking long time, isn't it, this stage? I just got here, and I've only done, like, what? A third of this? Not even, because I still have to go to the other side? My lord. <clears throat> Tuesdays is, the, thankfully, it's Tuesday's show, which I co-host with DJ Riff, except for when I don't. Well, gotcha. Well, it's a fun time regardless. Here it is, some deep thinking. Alright, have fun. Don't dunk too hard. The deep thunks can be troubling sometimes. Also, don't forget to thunk critically. What to do about this move in packing? Oh, well, the answer is simple. Get yourself a tape gun and don't look back. Tape guns are so fucking useful, dude. Yeah, the saying goodbye in person takes for fucking ever, every time. <coughs> And it's like, yeah, I get it, I'm leaving, but also, like, could you let me go? I just, I need to do things now. Okay, thanks, bye. So, killers, how am I? And is this one of those times where you break out the detergent stuff? I know Markiplier hated it. So, I refuse to ever use detergent, if I can avoid it. Because, fuck that shit. But, um... I mean, this might make sense to bring up out of detergent, but this would be an expensive job to do it. And I'm greedy, so I'm not going to do it. What I will do, though, is wash the crap out of these rails. Just keep going. Yeah, I'm trying to stay pure to the water only. I'm trying. We'll see. Alright, you know what? I will watch that side of the rail. That is where I will stop that washing. I will use this one to get rid of the oil. That and I mean, I want to buy all the clothes, man. Like, I want to buy all the things because of reasons. Man, oil is very, very. <laughs> That's a weird sentence I was about to say. Man, oil is very, very sticky. Um, not quite, but yeah, you get what I mean, I think. Oil persists longer than I would like it to. That's probably the way I should phrase it. There we go. Alright, that oil needs to go. Stop it. Be gone, oil. How have you been, though, DJ? Your ponytail? DJ Ponytail. Has life been treating you well? Doom? You've been playing Doom Eternal or something recently? Or are you talking about Doom Calamari? Which, uh, 
I haven't seen them here yet, but they might show up. Who knows? No, life is not. The current objective is to survive. I'm meeting the objective, and that's all I've got. Well, that sucks. <clears throat> A real answer would derail my stream. Gotcha. Well, I mean. I don't know about you, but I think I've found derails. Right right there, because it's a it's a rail for for a railway station. Cut. <laughs> God, I'm not funny. <laughs> I don't know why that got me still. Hey Jacob Hager, how's it going? Welcome on in. This is bad, this is real bad. I don't know Halo 2, I'll take your word for it, that's a thing. Jacob Major 2 is indeed the egg person from chat. They are... They are the egg. Among other things. But definitely egg. Egg. Yep. God, I would love to get to a point where I have enough uh, standard emote slots to get my cursed egg emote as one you could use in other chats. Because I personally love that emote. But at the same time, like actual artist emotes that actually look decent should also be shown. So I can't really do that. It's very depressing. <clears throat> Definitely egg. <laughs> Indeed, Vandris. <laughs> Hi, Vandris. How's it going? Also, Vandris, I promise one of these days I will finish V neck Rising. I just keep getting distracted. <laughs> but I haven't made no progress. I've been, um,. <clears throat> I've been getting the Cerberny dues to actually get me silver and stuff. You're burnt out of it yourself. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong, it's fun. But man, I'm at a part where it's, like, grindy as hell. So I don't have at Rocky for a month because I slept to games done quick. Can't spam cute racks at you. Yeah, sorry, man. I get that feel. Well, <clears throat> the thing is, everyone does indeed deserve cute trash pandas. Especially Vandris cute trash pandas, because Vandris is very, very cool people. But literally everybody in this stream knows that Vandris is very good people. So, like, duh. So here's the thing, DJ. I try, I'm like, I'm literally not allowed to not be subbed to Vandris, apparently, according to Dragon Loot. Um, cause Dragon keeps resubbing me to Vandris for some reason. I don't know why, but I like never not have trash pandas now. And I'm a very appreciative of it, but like, I keep getting pulled back in <laughs> and I'm okay with that. <clears throat> what I'm really trying to say is I'm a spoiled brat. That's actually what I'm trying to say here. And like, honestly, if the past few months have been an indicator of anything. It's basically been that. I have been a freaking spoiled brat. You all know it to be true. Between dragon, teal, and a few... Yeah, that is true. You don't think anyone in chat is allowed to not be subbed? Honestly, they are, but honestly, I'm also very grateful <clears throat> that people do give you so many gift subs, Vandris. Because you deserve them. Like, if there's streamers out there, I feel like you deserve them. You're a lovely person. Like, seriously. What are y'all doing sub to me? Go sub to Vandris. She needs it. She's lovely. <laughs> this is the guy on stream doing live things right now. But, you know. Like, damn. I'm just doing this shit for fun. Oh, also, um... Ponytail, the thing that you got me. I plan on doing that. 
Um, I just need to clear off some other things from my docket first. Just know that I'm not ignoring it. I will get to it eventually. I'm just not there yet. I think it was you that got me it. Yeah, you were. You were. <clears throat> the last few months I've been actually able to live somewhat comfy. And by comfy, I mean live off of more than 150 for a whole month. <laughs> it was not a gift killer. It was an obligation. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'll take it though, I'm grateful. Also, are you okay with people knowing what you got me? Because if not, I won't say anymore. But if you are, um, yeah, I will totally talk about it because it's extremely exciting news. Oh yeah, I know, it's, I, I know what you mean. Don't worry. <laughs> Go ahead and talk about it, you don't care. It was on Steam, yeah. So for those who don't know, I had expressed interest in playing House Slipper at some point. I forget when, but DJ Ponytail decided, hey, there's a Steam sale thing going on, and there's this game called House Flippers. And so I now have House Flippers. <laughs> I, it looks so good. I'm excited to play it eventually. Um, I just, <clears throat> you know, wasn't expecting it. Now I got it, you know. House flippers makes you want to own a house so bad. I... No. See, I owned a house at one point. I'm good. Like, it's nice. I'd, I'd rather have a condo. And the reason for that is I hate lawn work. Or outdoor work. Or, like, fixing, fixing roofs and shit. Roofs are expensive, by the way. I don't know if y'all know that. They are so fucking expensive to replace. Is actually ridiculous. All right, here we go. Now we're back. As a homeowner, do not recommend. Kind of wish I rented. Still, so, honestly, I feel that. Like I own a condo, but a condo is about as willing or as far as I'm willing to go. And yes, I know you can hire people to do lawn work. Yes, I realize that is an option and it's nice and whatever. But like, <clears throat> I'm just not. You know? Okay, so I got back into House Slipper for the first time and found that, like, gothy castle thing. No idea what that is. Anywhere space. An apartment, I have hobbies in both me and Bart work from home. Yeah, you have a lot of hobbies, actually, uh, Ponytail. You need a lot more room. Condor or Townhouse, definitely better. I, 10 out of 10 agree. The only other thing you have to worry about with condos and shit is... HOAs, but if you can find one that's not absolute garbage, meaning if you could find one that was made sometime in the 90s or after, usually, along with any writings you might be able to read on it, do it. And read your freaking contracts. Read the agreements, because HOAs can shaft you in so many ways. It's ridiculous. Actually, wait a minute. Ponytail, you know that already. Where we used to work, you probably heard about that all the time. I forgot about that. You like to own so you can paint the fucker purple. I also feel that. I wanted to paint my house ridiculous colors, but that would require me to have money to actually do that. Which, um... Yeah, no. <laughs> we didn't have. Okay, now... It's kind of... Oh yeah, I forgot to, like, actually finish wiping off the grime from this portion. Derp. God, please get all the oil out of here. Why is there so much oil? Get out of here. Uh, we could buy. I don't think it bought it. Well, I've 100 percent the game of the mission. She was I did buy every single house. Ah, gotcha. Well, now you have a goal. <laughs> or not. I'm not your boss. I don't tell you what to do. If I did, I'd have serious questions about why the fuck you're listening to me. Anyway, here we go. Come on. Spraying the water. Spraying all of the water. God, I love this jazz playlist I wound up making. So nice. But 
Okay, I'm 100% convinced that the game is going to go from relaxing to horror game. Someone pointed out that it shares assets from Phasmophobia. I made a joke that's going to turn into a horror game, and I fully believe that's what it's going to happen. I, I mean, I could see it as well. That'd be a direction, wouldn't it? Alright. Let's clean this off. Maybe I'll focus on the bottom half first, and then I'll do the top half with the yellow. That seems like a plan, right? That said, I sort of kind of definitely want to buy an old bunker or something now. I mean, bunkers are cool, right? Can I go like here and then spray? Maybe? There we go. Trying to maintain a bunker would be a pain in the ass, though. make sure I really get those parts down a bit. Alright. Close enough, I guess. There we go. You wanna buy a tiny house? They're built to last in the bar and I kinda of dug the industrial look. We talked about buying a warehouse. Whenever I play Minecraft, I live in warehouses. Like, those are my houses. I literally live in a warehouse. If you see my house on Landris Evandris, it's just a fucking box in a rock. That's all it is. Oh my god. This is a billboard of the old car I washed for someone, where they talked about that Esther person, that Esther lady that actually owned the house previous to them, and they cleaned the car off. This is a billboard advertising that car in that movie. Lore. How fucking cute. Already tiny house. I envy people who can... Be a minimalist. Respect and envy. I could never. Power Watch only has it in verse. Yes, it does. It actually does have lore. Um, <clears throat> there is actually, and you're going to hate me saying this, there's actually a game theory on it and everything, which is ridiculous. I don't remember the exact specifics, but whatever. There is lore in this game, though. Can't tell you that much. This is an advertisement for the uh, circus thing stuff I cleaned. My god. There. Currently I would do some amount of crap, but it's only because I finally felt getting comfy getting stuff, even though I planned out things against it. I'm just, uh, very little. And that's my life I found out. Everything I own could fit in a car, and I enjoy that. It's a lot of stressful. Honestly, we, I mean, we aren't that minimalist, but we don't have, we meaning my wife and I, don't really have much in the way of just random crap lying around. <clears throat> Everything fits in our relatively small, like, 700 square foot home. The stuff that doesn't, it's a total of, like, maybe five boxes? Maybe? Some of them aren't even all the way filled. So it's probably more like three. A 
What if I die in my sleep tonight? I feel like I sucked it up on my crap, that's not fair to him. Clearly the answer is to live forever. I mean, obviously. You know, as a trash panda does. <clears throat> Fuck that. <laughs> uh, we just don't like having random crap laying around. Like, that's why uh, Ponytail, when he offered to get me something for my desk, I was like, I don't really have random crap. Like, if it's on my desk, it's here because there's a clear need for it. Which is why it's so hard to shop. Like, honestly, shopping for me for gift is awful. Because if you don't want to just get me something on my Steam wish list, then you're going to have a hell of a time. Because my only hobbies really are video games, wife, cats, family. That's basically it. That, that, that's the things. Those are the things. I went through a buying phase to get me happy chemicals, so I have a bunch of Funko Pops from stuff I like, and it's like, okay, you're just collecting dust and other things and shit like that. Exactly. Like, I don't feel... Yeah, exactly. Why would I bring stress to my life in the form of having to dust shit off? I already hate cleaning to begin with, man. Like, we're trying to automate all that as much as we can. Here. Like, I've got a freaking Roomba, for God's sake. Like, I obviously don't like to clean that much. <laughs> but also, it's not fair to dump all of that on my wife either, you know? Wait, what? Did I just never finish the floor? What the hell? What is wrong with me? Hold on. So I seriously just never cleaned the floor? Wow. Okay. Jeez. <clears throat> Kill all the Roombas. Why are we killing the Roombas? I love Roombas. They're adorable little derpy machines. You know? <laughs> like, yeah, they're not the best things in the world. Sidebar killers, you got the background music levels on my perfect chef's kiss. Okay, good. I'm happy about that. I'm always afraid it's not loud enough over the freaking power washing, you know? <clears throat> or my ridiculous voice. I'm glad it's just perfect, though. Yay! Jeff Jefferson the seventh. Vote Jeff for 1984. I'll clean up Caldera City and beyond. This political advert is sponsored by the Jeff Jefferson Blit 1984 Electric Campaign Fund. Jeff Jefferson Blit would like to make it clear that he is talking about talking metaphorically about cleaning up the city, and he has no intention of getting on his expensively tailored knees and scrubbing the city or any kind of manual labor for that matter. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's so stupid. All right, hold on. Let's go look at the other advertisements in case I miss some other gems. <laughs> Grand Caldera Productions, 1984, will be the year we go off-road with Driving Me Nuts. Esther... D Esther Death? Death? Wow. Lawrence Dufer. Co-starring Grim... Grisham Stakes. Miram Glot... Gloat? Glot? I don't know. Portland Bay... Derek Degas, Arthur Brain. Production design, Ivor Detail. Produced by Githen. Githen Dunn. My god! The puns and the names are fucking horrible, and I love it. Written by Lex Icon. Original concept by Esther Death. Directed by Faustina Trist. I'm sure I'm missing some of the pounds, but dear god. Grand Caldera Productions and Future Films, all rights reserved. Grand Caldera Future Film. Wow. The names are ridiculous. <clears throat> also, hold on. I fucking hate those machines with a burning passion. Always eating shoelaces and dog toys and cords. Making so much damn noise. Waking me up in the middle of the night. They can all burn. Well, don't run them at night. That's a terrible idea.
Uh, <clears throat> also, yeah, I will admit they are kind of a pain in the ass when it comes to them hitting wires and stuff. We have one extension, well not extension, but like a power strip. I'm pointing over there as if it gets to be pointing, but it goes kind of out in the middle of the, in the middle of the room. I literally unplug that and put it over the uh, chair before we run it, specifically so it doesn't pull that out. And we also have a pillow underneath our table so it doesn't get stuck under the table. But otherwise, it's I love it. I agree with you, spouse who has the controls disagrees. Well, your spouse is wrong. But, okay. <laughs> oh, man. I guess my argument, and they probably are already aren't receptive because you probably already had this argument, is, well, what about our sleep schedules? Sleep is one of the most important things that you can do, and Americans are chronically sleep fatigued in terms of not getting enough of the damn stuff. Why are you making me have worse sleep? Stop. Ugh. Jesus. That would drive me crazy. They are indeed loud. Like, people are like, oh, rumors are so quiet. No, no, they're fucking not. Yeah, they're quieter than a regular vacuum, but, like, they're still loud. So loud. That's why I try and run it when my wife's not home and I'm just working from home, because for the most part, I'm on mute, right? So I can just stay muted, and when I have to talk, I can unmute or whatever. But, like, the other thing to consider with Roombas is... I mean, you still have to change the damn thing. It'll still get stuck somehow. Like, it will still wind up eating sheets or something ridiculous. And you have to run out there and you have to untangle it. Just like, Bleh. But, like, I don't know. I'm very specific about it. It's weird. It tends to get stuck. Also, it's just kind of fun to watch the cats chase it around. I don't know why. I kind of enjoy that a little bit. Because they're so heckin' cute. Alright. Uh, I could probably just turn on the yellow. Yeah. <clears throat> Eating sheets face down, ass up. That's the way our Roomba cleans. I mean, basically, yeah. But also, I just got a very weird vision of a Roomba doing something sexual, and I hate it. So, thanks, but also, I hate it. Ugh. Anyway. Where was I? Right. Cleaning up the rhyme. BRB Googling Roomba porn? I'm sure it exists, and if it doesn't, I'd be deeply disturbed in the internet because the internet sexualizes everything, whether it needs to be or not. Like. It has to exist. Don't tell me it doesn't exist, because I won't believe you and I'm going to have to run my own Google search. <clears throat> there is one result on Pornhub that has no apparent relation to robots. It suggests that you mean Goomba. Oh, that <laughs> that's worse somehow. Somehow that's worse. <laughs> oh no. Alright. Ah, I missed over here. Okay. Hey, I did the thing. And just to look. Okay, you know what? Friggin' just do the entire length of the cable for now. <laughs> Look, man, there's a reason I keep this 18 plus. Because I say curse shit like this. I'm so sorry, you guys, but uh, please don't hate me. There we go. Alright, now let's go here. <laughs> I 
Why can't I just play Fallout in peace? I don't know, Vandris. The Uncanny Franny. Hi there. I would ask if you could, could would clean my caravan, but I already know what your answer is. Commissioner Barry Onyx. Caldera City Subway System was built using over 16, 16 million bricks. Jesus, that's a lot of bricks. Why can't I just play Fallout in peace? Why must I hear things about Roomba porn? I don't know. <laughs> if you were to pile them up top to tail, they would extend a staggering 2,137 miles into the Earth's atmosphere. Barb would like me to add that there's a porn-free YouTube video by a guy named Michael Reese titled The Roomba That Screams and It Bumps Into Stuff and she recommends it. If you don't mind sending me a link, I would love to look at that at some point. Because uh, the universe is dark and awful place, that's legitimately the most I've laughed today. Sorry, yo, but uh, shut up about the Roomba porn. <laughs> so, uh, funny tale, in case you don't know, Vandris shows her love by saying those kinds of statements in a very bold way. If she's not happy with you, she will let you know in many words. Um, just a heads up. <laughs> Is that the Vandris? It is the Vandris. And is this the port? <laughs> it has been a shit tier day. I do agree with you. I'm still trying to mentally wrap my head around the fact that by changing the way things are done in this database, there's so many things fucked right now that we didn't expect to get fucked. But they're fucked. The fucking hath happened. And it's not great. Hey, I cleaned it. It's okay, and I'm sorry, my new Oh, yep. I look forward to saying, yep. Uh, Ponytail, just hang out in her streams a little while when you get the chance, and you will very quickly learn her humor. If she says I hate something, um, usually doesn't actually mean she hates it, <laughs> or she hates it in a loving way. Usually, that's what I've at least encountered. Do I want the short? Do I want shoddy? Oh yeah, shoddy will do. Just need the shoddy. But I won't speak for the Vandris. Vandris can speak for herself, obviously. But that's just my what I've experienced. Also, hi Bard. Plus, I just love giving Killer a hard time on his cursedness because <laughs> there is so much cursedness. There is. That's why in uh, in Noter's Discord, I am the accursed food lord. Although. I get a run for my money. Oh, yay! I got high from Bard. Although I get a run for my money with um, with Wookie. If you guys want to know true cursed, um, join the thing that I actually can't. I just I keep forgetting to make the command, and it's kind of ticking me off. That I keep forgetting. But let me go back real fast to here so if you go to that website and you go join the discord there's someone named Wookie if you guys think I'm cursed oh no there is someone much more cursed than I am and I would like to just let the record show that there is proof well there was proof at some point but the chat keeps getting deleted because it's too freaking cursed poor I'm going to smack you like a second <laughs> she was actually talking to me about it earlier. Oh, happily able to save my mouth doesn't hurt so much anymore. What? I... I'm going to ask this, and I hope I don't regret asking. Why did your mouth hurt? Lisa? Was it dental work? Because if it was dental work, I can relate so freaking hard to dental work. Like friend. <laughs> Dental cleaning. Oh, cleanings aren't horrible, but it can be a pain. 
I get that, yeah. I was like, can we play the class? Be the so nice. <laughs> oh, Vandress. Port's totally innocent, I'm sure. Completely 100% innocent, right? R right? Right? Team Banana Six. Are you talking about Banana Tacos again? Hey, you got it. Okay. No, they're so silly, and I love it. As soon as the day is long. Wildlife cam. Oh yeah, you've shown me that before, Vandris. That is also very heckin' cute to watch. Admittedly, sometimes I go away from your stream for a little bit just to look at that, but then I usually have to go back to work. It's annoying. But every once in a while, I gotta go in there and be like, oh, heckin' cute. You know? Yes. It is indeed an instant follow. That reminds me, at some point I need to talk to Panda Gorex. Because uh, apparently she and I live in the same city. I didn't realize that. Hearing that about every night, that sounds about right. Yep, we both live in the same place. Oh god, she's so amazing. She's lovely. I would like to chill with her at some point, but at the same time, like... <sighs> it's weird, right, Vandris? Because, like, I don't really know her you know so it's like it'd be weird to just ask out of the blue <laughs> yeah there you go x panda gorax they are lovely they play a lot of dead by daylight just generally very top tier human uh they also do the smoking of the weed on stream sometimes at least i think it's weird i don't fucking know I go into Vanish's stream to go, aw, oh, heckin' cute. I know, right? Admittedly, I go into her stream not just to see her and whatever nonsense she winds up doing that day, because sometimes it's nonsense. It's mostly chance fault. But, um, I love the susometer. Taking my susperture. It's very nice. No, I have double flames usually there. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Noame is also good peeps. Okay, I have to ask, did Noame actually finally beat Elden Ring today? I wasn't able to catch all of it, but I saw him fighting Horaloo and having his ass kicked. Oh, I missed some chats. Also, finger has not fully blistered yet, but pain has decided they're too good. Yay, pain subsiding. Oh my god, Vandris. I'm still so fucking mad at him. How is he where he is without freaking a level 12 flask? Like, what? How? How? Like, seriously. It's disturbing. I'm actually disturbed at the man for how far he's gotten. He is one of the most stubborn people I've ever met. It's insane. But also, goddamn, he beat Dark Souls 1 with a freaking steering wheel, so I can't ever say shit, right? Like. He knows he shouldn't be there, but he refuses to leave now. <laughs> Oh, he didn't beat it? I, well, he beat some parts of it, at least. 
The last I remember seeing him doing that, he got to Capra Demon. Oh, he, he wound up getting to the duo? Holy crap. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to beat duo with a steering wheel. It is insane to me. Jesus. Oh, but you're probably trying to play Fallout 4. I guess I'll stop bugging you. <laughs> Whoops. It's okay, Port. We get it. You have a man crush. I don't blame you. Uh, no, DJ Ponytail. Um, he actually was playing with a racing setup. So he had, like, the gas pedals. He had the steering wheel to control where his character was moving. Yeah, like, one of the actual steering wheels for video games. He was playing Dark Souls 1 with a fucking steering wheel set up for racing. Yes. Yes. That is the appropriate response. <clears throat> that is so absurd that I literally don't even consider. <laughs> There's proof. I'm sure. I'm sure someone prides took clips of it. I don't know if I did. Who is this person? Has anyone sent them a DDR gamepad? I don't know. But that's terrifying to think about. Oh yeah. Also, if, just so you guys know, so clipped. I think moderators could use this command. Oh, it's... I forgot to put in the name. That's not exactly what I meant to do, but sure, let's just say I meant to do that. <laughs> there. I'll get them in the queue. Yeah, look for the, the chickens. <laughs> no, I love the look at these chickens. Look at them. That's no I'm don't play. Oh, man. This is the best thing I ever seen. <laughs> oh, I can't see it. Oh, my God. Can someone clip that? Oh, man. That's the best thing I ever seen. <clears throat> That's what he played Fall Guys. <laughs> no aim is so ridiculous, but he's a lovely bean. Hey, got it. All right. Now it's for this wall. Okay. All right, let's put on a short extension. Actually, you know what? Let's go even better. Let's go long extension. Really clean that shit up, you know? Get nice and deep. It has two tracks? Yes, it does. This is gonna be probably the biggest project I've ever done in this game. It's gonna take for fucking ever. Rip and rest? Pretty much, yeah. Please, wall, I wanna be done. End my suffering, please. Please, I want to move on. Uh, what is left? Do I need to do this? Is it like this portion? Why? Going. Okay, so it starts here. So let's do this. Hey, we got it. 
Oh, but yes, if you climb over here, there's another whole section uh, over this way. It's pretty large. All right, let's get rid of this. Let's go back to Stubby. In half an hour, I'm leaving to get pizza and alcohol because neither bar nor I have the spoons to cook. Depending on how late you stream, I think we'll be back later to watch you still be cleaning. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Depending on the next project after this one, I might continue this. I don't know yet. <clears throat> I might switch. I It'll really just depend. Um, I haven't even thought that far, honestly, because I am very tired. We also did not have spoons for cooking much, so we just ate leftovers for the most part. Just uh, a lot of... Uh, what the hell is it called again? That tuna stuff. The, um... The stuff Vandris hates. Well, conceptually. Tuna noodle pasta salad. There we go. It has, like, exorbitant amounts of mayo in it. Alright. I'm actually going to... Wash off the tactile portion first. Oh, it's the tuna you don't like, not the mayo. Gotcha. Pianos? There are indeed pianos, yes. Get this tactile platform. Perfect. Da, da, da. Canton is the only tuna I could put up with. Not my favorite because it's basically chicken but less yummy. I'm okay with. Actually, I've had some really good ahi tuna steak. That was really divine. Had like sesame and stuff in it. It was really delicious. It's also really good in like a sushi. But I'm okay with tuna. It's not my favorite, but I like it. You know, I need names for a rooster and a hen. Um. How about Clint Eggwoods and Marilyn Cluckrow? Hang on, just so you know what I mean. Clint Eggwood. Marilyn Eggrow. There you go, Liz. How's that? Is that what you were looking for? Or is that too cursed? Is calling one of them omelette and the other nugget too evil? Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, let's clean the floors, and then we'll focus on the walls. <clears throat> I was assuming you didn't want an evil name, so that's what I went with. Egg. So much grime. Everywhere there is grime. Omelette Nugget will be their offspring. That works. I 
I gotta say, it's always a shame when you see something like a subway station just fall into disrepair and just deteriorate like this. It's really a shame. I feel really pleased that you have helped in some way. I know, right? Like, I'm not always great at names, but... I don't know. It came to mind because of the posters, if I'm being honest with you. <clears throat> oh. Priority message from my wife. sure that feeling will stick when I say there's sims chickens. Eh! Name's a name is a name. Whether it's just something virtual or not, doesn't matter to me. I'm really curious about what you guys are looking at. Hang on a minute. Oh, that is heck cute. <laughs> Aww. Is that blood? No, it's grime stains and rust. I mean, if you want to be blood, you can, I guess, but to my knowledge, it's not. I don't know. I hope not. I hope that's not blood. If it is, that's a little awkward. Well, awkward. See, he, I found a murder scene. of the gate on the floor. I'm hoping it's paint. Are you talking about this? It just says grime. I'm assuming it's just paint. Oh, there is a ladder! Alright. Caution wet floor. Pretty much, yeah.
Ah, we're getting somewhere. This too, huh? Scoop! Woohoo! Alright. Will the green do? Yeah, basically. Dope. Not blood good. I don't think there's license for body fluid cleanups. Probably not. <clears throat> At least not in game. I'm not now. Oh god, that just brought back memories of a previous chat we all had about viscera cleanup and other associated things. I think Vanders remembers that conversation we had. I'm confused. What combo? The one where I talked about the person who decided to make a poem out of poo. And then you had that conversation about the person who took a dookie in the, uh, where the cleaning supplies were and all that. The janitor closet. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, now you remember. It's kind of hard to forget that conversation. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> oh, okay. That was just a message from my wife saying, okay, beautiful. Closet serial shitter, yeah. The CSS. Oh, Vandress. Um, have you heard from Beetlebug Dance recently? I haven't seen them in a while. But I was kind of hoping they'd be back for the rebirth of uh, Landris of Andrus to get the lore. Yeah, I haven't seen her much either. I still send them pictures of my cats occasionally for a pick-me-up, but I haven't seen them in a very long time. Interesting. Well, they're still alive. I can tell you that with certainty. At least they were last time I posted to them, but... Okay, good to know. Yeah, people do tend to come and go. Yep, I'm... Yeah... Shit happens. Hell, I did that with some other previous streamers as well. Dude, I used to watch uh, Northern Lion and 
mouth and other streamers religiously and then all of a sudden I'm just like nope I have moved on <laughs> That's done. <laughs> Used to watch this one super name Vandris. No, they've been offline for a couple of hours now. It's like, damn, slacking, right? Where is he going with this? <laughs> I don't know where they're going with this, Vandress. I never know. With port, it could be anything. You don't ever know when you should? Ah, I don't know. I just know he's going somewhere. Oh, I forgot to actually announce this ever, but I forgot to mention. Um, so y'all, I decided last night to take down my VODs going forward. My previous VODs that I've already made are no longer available on Twitch, but they are available on my YouTube channel because I'm hoping someday maybe I can have like some sort of playlist of music that um, I could just play on stream and it should be fine. <laughs> Take song requests and shit or something. I don't know. We'll see where that goes. But uh, it's on YouTube now. Has been for a while. I even have it all sorted in playlists and everything. I should probably make a YouTube command at some point. But um, hang on. Let me do the thing real fast. Maybe I'll do that after stream if I remember again. Make a command for it or something. Uh, I believe it's this button. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> it's this one. Uh, yes, it is Killer's Assist. Yep, you got it. All of my previous streams I've ever done, ever, that I recorded anyway, are on there for your viewing pleasure whenever you want. Any day, night, year, country. Well, assuming they have internet and assuming that you're allowed through the firewalls, because fuck you, China, and other various countries. You're all assholes. Um, yeah. They exist, and they're even in playlists and everything. Like, I actually took time to organize them for whatever reason. Alright, what am I doing? Hey, much appreciated. But I still refuse to use Twitter because I'm not there yet. <laughs> One thing at a time, right? <clears throat> Plus, I'm not young and hip. Like, I'm old. I probably shouldn't be on Twitter anyway. I don't know what I'm doing, man. There we go. Did I ever actually wash this wall? I don't remember. Oh, I did. Okay, so let's go back to the other wall. Let's turn the nozzle and spray. Yay! More water. Twenty-eight 
tweet against her birds. Yeah. <sighs> Platform wall cleans. Subscribe with notifications. Holy shit. I don't even try notifications for people, man. Thank you. <laughs> So yeah, I post stuff there. I will admit, I'm not consistent. Like, my goal is to do it like the next day when I post the thing that I stream, but sometimes, sometimes the spoons aren't there. Sometimes my brain's just like, I don't want to do that. Even though it's not that difficult, my brain's still just like lazy. I uh, care about you a lot. I don't know. I'm always on YouTube way more than Twitch. Ah, gotcha. Notified with subscriptions. Hey! <laughs> I made it weird, but whatever. Make it weird. Dude, that's our brand. Honestly. Like, if I think, like, that podcast that you do with your friend, uh, that whole thing's brand, in my personal opinion, is just weird. You know it to be true, but it's what makes it so pleasant, and sometimes cursed. Most of the curse comes from that one guy I talked about before, though. Um, you right, yeah. Alright, I would like to follow the crack. There we go. Hey. I guess I could, like, clean these lights and stuff now, huh? Dun, dun. Dun. Mine is a lot more music focused, except for when I just sit down and become the left-wing version of Fox News for two hours. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that sounds about right, honestly. Ah, here we go. Remove the grime in due time. I haven't even cleaned 40% of this yet. How insane is that? Like, dear god. Construction began on Muckingham to Caldara City Branch Line in 1920, funded by local businessman Wiberforce Thrust. Damn. Who has been who was keen to provide an efficient means of transporting his workforce from the city to his thriving cattle ranches. It was finally unveiled by Mayor Jeff Jefferson Blair, who tragically passed away after the self same day the self same day from an accident hold on, I missed that. Hold on, we're not done yet. <clears throat> tragically passed away the same the self same day from an incident related to the station's substandard construction. Substandard. God damn, the puns are terrible. Sorry, it took me a little bit to process all those freaking puns, man. Like, dear lord. We're in a subway station. It was built substandard. Like, come on, that's just fucking gold. <laughs> so stupid. I love it. I bet it was because before the station got built, the work, the work to where the workers were untrained. Yeah, probably. I wonder if the work got uh, derailed from the usual schedule, and so they had to cut corners and uh, do light work instead of the heavy work to get it done right. You know. <clears throat> untrained bar is cringing. That sounds about right. This is also making me very hungry for a Penn Station uh, 
sandwich for some reason. What did I usually get from there again? I forget what it was. Okay, hold on a second. I will read that pun momentarily. I need to... I need you to be clean. Where is the grime? Oh, right. That makes sense, actually. Eh. Eh. Eee! Alright, I probably need a ladder for this. Alright, what is it? I'm glad the station was destroyed, though. It must be an engine of the local economy. Dear God, man. That's bad. I love it. Wash the backs of these real fast. That's more like it. Hey, now we're getting somewhere. There we go. <clears throat> There's a lot of like in here. That would be an interesting D&D &D monster. A lycanthrope. But like made of the lichen, the plant, instead of being a wolf. A lycanthrope. I wonder what its attributes would be. Lycanthrope. Exactly. You got it. Has potential, indeed. Isn't there... Isn't there a dimension... Like, is it called the Underdark? It's... it's No, the Fey Wilds. It could be something from, like, the Fey Wilds or something, maybe? Yeah, Lycanthrope. Like what Liza spelled it as. That's the one. Yeah. I thought there was a realm in D&D &D that was literally just like, these are the crazy wilds of the Fae, and there's a whole bunch of weird shit that grows here, and it might kill you. Along with the usual Fae insanity, because Fae, like, it, the Fae are always crazy, let's be real. There was an Underdark and Fae run, I believe a Fae, Fae wild, that's what I'm thinking of, yeah, you got it, you got it. Pushes glasses up nose. <laughs> I was gonna say, Liza knows all about the plants. That much I do know. There's also shit to the planes of existence that could have spawned it. I mean, undoubtedly. Plane's not plane. Sorry, I'm leaving soon to get food because I have become stupid. No worries. Though I do. Lichens are fascinating. It's like a mixture of fungus and something else, if I remember right. But I also don't usually remember right. So please, for the love of God, correct me. Did I clean the subway? Yeah, I did. I cleaned the subway gates. Let's clean up the blood. Or whatever this was, I guess. There. Not a trace anymore. If 
fungus and moss? Uh, I knew it was a mix of something. I know it's very resilient. That much I do know. Also, Lisa, how are your plants doing? I haven't, admittedly, I haven't checked the Vandercord to see how they're doing. But I figure I'd just ask since you're here anyway. Due for watering, but doing pretty good. Still coming out of a depressive episode, so I have been starting to care for them all. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Liza. Well, I hope you feel better soonish, but. Well, that's not up to me. But I do hope the best. Ooh, that is nasty. Jesus. Got it. Okay. Green. Back. Okay. Let's do a circle around again. I finally found a therapist to see them for the first time next week, so only 2.5 years of searching. That honestly sounds about right, because if I'm being frank with you, they don't get paid shit, so no one wants to become a therapist. But it's very important. But I am glad you finally found someone to talk with. That is very important, as you probably already know. I'm happy for you. Get in there. Clean that grind. Hell yeah. And some people apparently have three different therapists and two more for their family members. That can confirm that does happen. Yeah. Not me personally, but uh, I have heard of that being a thing. Yeah.
pizza time. Be back in a bit. Hey, no worries. Thank you for hanging. I'll maybe see you later. Enjoy pizza. I want pizza. When I heard about someone like that, I've had such a hard time fighting someone. Can't lie, I was pissed. Yeah. Seems like a waste of resources to me, but also I haven't really needed one before, so I don't feel like I can really properly judge any of that. Does that make sense? But it does suck. as a visitor, but the only building is the bathroom shed. <laughs> oh, man. No, I never have played The Sims. Got it. Map, map, board, map. Okay. Back to cleaning this. right? Whew. Sorry about that. That was a surprise. Whew. That actually popped my back. But kind of in a good way. Hang on. Wait to something. Usually do this. What's up, little one? Are you mad? Hi. 
Hi. What's up? Oh, I know what's up. I can't go to the store right now, Bubba, but I'll go later. I'll go tomorrow, okay? Right after work. Yeah, I know, Bubba. He's extremely picky about how his litter is done and when. He wants me to go do litter right now, but uh, the store is closed. I don't have any spare litter right now, and it's open tomorrow, so I'll be doing that tomorrow for my little buddy. It's okay, Baba. I know, little man. I'll go tomorrow, alright? It's okay. Come here. He's gonna cause mayhem, apparently. <laughs> Ireland is choosing violence right now, guys. <clears throat> Baba. Baba. It's okay. Just platform tile for now, and then the other side of this symmetrical thingy. Beautiful. I love it. Alright, he has stopped choosing violence. Yay. Apparently the cat's been down here. Go. Ah, that's a face. <laughs> that's cute. Alright, anyway. Uh, I guess I'll clean the ceilings now?
Maybe I should do a short extension. Yeah. That seems to be doing a little bit better. Wait, I haven't cleaned this yet? What the frick is wrong with me? Barely. Oh, hey, that's not it. That's all right. I'll live with it. It's gonna bug me if I don't do this now, so... No. What? Okay, so the underlighting is different. So I could do that later. Okay. Oh wait. Oh no, I can hear just fine. That was just a quiet song. Okay.
last second, you guys. Now that he's done running around, I can reset my stuff and... I keep forgetting to talk. <laughs> no, to be honest, I'm not talking about this point. So that's kind of why I've been quiet, I guess. It's just relaxing. I appreciate y'all just hanging out by the way. I think I've said that before, but I'll say it again. Because we're just chilling. It means a lot to me that y'all just sit around and watch some random dude play weird games. Da 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 da
apparently does is playing uh, our GTRP again. Halfway done now. Back to Japan Tail, how's it going? Did you get the pizza? Also, if you did get pizza, I need to know what kind. Um, just like, you know, for reasons. <clears throat> yeah, managed to improve my day actually, and yes, pizza. Oh, nice. That I could help you improve your day a bit. Welcome back to liminal pressure washing. Something like that, yeah. Hey, Doom, how's it going? Welcome, we welcome. Yeah, good. good idea, Ripley. Wait, get behind me. How goes it, Doom? And play too. I'm alright. I'm uh decompressing after a long day of work. <clears throat> Things uh are not going as lovely as I would like for my particular work, but I did have my first call today and I thoroughly impressed, so that was fun. I'll read that momentarily. I just really want to finish getting the stain and the grime and all this stuff in this particular section. Um. 
I don't know if I'm here, but stuffed crust white pizza is like a garlic alfredo -y sauce. We put chicken, onion, and banana pepper on it. That sounds okay. I'm not a fan of onion or banana pepper, but everything else sounds amazing. Just go home from work. Nice. One moment, though. Ugh. Sorry, I still have a cough. I don't know why, but I do. Oh, and uh, my summer sickness is getting worse for whatever reason. I almost vomited twice today, which was uh, not very pleasant, but here we are. Must repair you. Uh, well, if we could replace parts and I knew what to do, I would totally do that, but here we are. The world needs my light. For <laughs> God damn it. For some reason, DJ, when he said that, I was thinking of a flashlight, and I know that's not what you're talking about, but that's exactly where my mind went, and I don't know why. <laughs> Oh, Lord help me. Alright, let's move these. Uh, yeah, totally, just a, f a flashlight. Yeah, 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 that's, that's totally what I said, Vandris. Nothing, nothing weird occurs. Nope. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> the killer's assist flashlight is the only assist you need for a killer time. <laughs> That's horrible. Well, if I ever do hot girl shit, I know that's exactly what one of my procs is gonna be. <laughs> How dare I talk about these Christian, about these things in your Christian Minecraft server? I try not to say anything horrible like that when I'm in Landris of Andrus, but I do get this sentiment. <laughs> uh, Adam just is pretty cute until he got all those piercings. Oh shit! <laughs> I just got that. Holy crap! <laughs> uh, you could say he got pegged. God, that's terrible. Everything that is getting on the mouse is terrible. <laughs> You're the opposite. I pushed to the limit. Yeah. Oh, we know. We know, Doom. We're, we're very much aware of that. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to take off... Uh, actually, wait. Yeah, I should keep using the yellow, I think, for this part. Honestly. Well... Ah, it seems like a waste. You know what? Let's keep the short extension, but let's do the green. Yeah. You're slaying that one until you got pegged. I mean... That's what happened, right? 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 No? Yes? Maybe? I don't know. Alright, I'm actually gonna wash from this side. He was not hero. For some reason, my brain has read that as like Euro, like the sandwich or something, and that made it worse to me. He was a Euro. He's turning into a Euro till the end of time. <clears throat> and Hero Jesus has been a loading appropriate response. Yeah, he put his iPod. <laughs> Oh, I don't 4chan. I, I explicitly stay away from, from that. My mind 
is already cursed enough as it is, man. I don't need to add 4chan to the mix, you know? I just don't. Alright, yeah, this grime is really thick, so I'm actually going to uh, use the yellow. Some data just slingers. Yeah. Killers to become an hero is to become unalive by your own doing. I'm really confused now. I don't know what you're talking about. Become an hero. Anon is saying to go kill yourself? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I meant a euro. Like that. Jesus becoming a euro. Like the euro sandwich. That's what I was referring to, but I think that, yeah. Become an euro, yes. I'm saying he's going to become a sandwich, that's all I'm saying. The subway was reopened again following extensive repointing in 1923 by Mayor Jeff Jefferson. Blech. Closed again the following fall after the shocking revelation that Wilberforce Thrust had been using it to funnel train trucks full of stolen money out of town. That sounds about right. <clears throat> the money was never recovered. Of course it wasn't. Why would it be? Now he can't be a hero. Have you seen that beard? Your meat is shaved. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's so bad. But I love it. Alright. Can I clean this off? right there works yes eh eh let me up let me up up there we go there we go so what about Schwarmageddon? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It could be the side dish though, because he's in a pickle as he pointed out, he's picked. Something like that, yeah. For some reason, talking about this makes me think of that really cursed Thomas the Train Engine image with uh, like the spider legs and stuff. I don't know why. Oh wait a minute, I know why, because I'm in a fucking train station. That's why. Right. about the Delpucker spear that was used to pierce Christ's ribs. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. What I do know that is that uh, if they were uh, pickle spears, then those ribs are probably super acidic. Now I'm just imagining a Christ kebab. Maybe he's the bride in a god tier mop sauce, maybe. I wonder if he was more of a dry rub guys kind of guy or a nice saucy fellow. I mean I imagine saucy because he did let that one lady uh, wash his feet, right? That's gotta be saucy. I have no idea, man. I can't stop thinking about Christ Kebab now. 
It's fair weather one and not the other, I know, right? Poor Vandress is probably trying to play Fallout 4 in peace, and she keeps hearing the word Christ Kebab come up, and is probably just like, why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, we're all certified going to hell. And you're going to hell, and you're going to hell, and you're going to hell. <laughs> How do you call me out? It's accurate, but jeez. <laughs> Oh, uh, love you, Andy. <laughs> uh, my trans ass is always heading to hell. I'm now trying for first class tickets. Accurate, accurate. This platform be done, please. Can I can I move on with my life, pretty please? Now I'd like to clean the next section. Yay! Okay, actually I'm over here now, so I might as well clean this. But let's go stubby. Says me blasphemy while indulging in gluttony and sloth. <laughs> Happens, man. Oh my god. I didn't realize it today, but I needed this smooth jazz in my soul today. I'm really glad I'm playing this game right now. Though admittedly, the cat game was tied. I just kind of made an executive decision. With, I was like, where does my heart want to go? And I was like, I don't want to talk too horribly much tonight. So I'll play this game. Maybe I'll compromise and I'll play Cat Quest tomorrow. Unless somebody wants to play Risk of Rain 2 with me, then that might take priority. We'll see. Too sorry, and also I'm still on a city skylines kick, and also getting back into Animal Crossing. No need to apologize, man. Plus, I mean, Risk of Rain 2 is not everybody's cup of tea. Like, there are some people that I know that I'm pretty sure would never, ever play Risk of Rain 2 because it's just not their kind of game, you know? All good. But I'm happy to cheer. That's fine. Oh, speaking of cheers, uh, interesting segue, I guess. Uh, on my Twitch page, if you look under the About section, I added a new feature. Um, if you spend 100 biddies, I now have text-to-speech. That is now a thing that exists. Just a heads up. that momentarily I want to get this door free now okay as a practical note I've noticed that twitch is really mean to you with compression artifacting on risk of rain 2 yeah twitch can be kind of mean in risk of rain 2 there are some people out there who just want to see my runs burn which is fine I'm okay with a little bit of burning but like dear god sometimes Give me a break, man, you know? Last night wasn't actually too bad. There was like the first 10 minutes where it was kind of nuts, but after that, it kind of died down. <clears throat> when you say compression artifacting, are you more talking about like actually, um, like the bit rates and stuff, or are you talking about like stuff in the game?
because I do know my computer has a hard time keeping up with Risk of Rain 2. It's very intensive, actually, that game. Like, really hard time. Like, holy crap. It's a lot of stuff for my computer process. Someday when I get a new PC, hopefully I'll get a more powerful processor and it'll do a little bit nicer, but we'll see. <clears throat> Basically, the quality drops and all the lights, explosions, and flashes happen. There's a ton of scaffolding about snow and confetti that makes the point. Yeah, um, that's to be expected. Risk of Rain 2 is extremely, um, like, extremely intensive on CPU and everything. Because there's. <laughs> hang on. Oh, sorry. Throat is still all messed up. Um, it's just super hard on everything, that game. Do you mind saying that in Discord to me? So I can see it later? I will completely forget to look through chat. I would appreciate it if you did that. Got it, nice, thank you. Is Lisa still here? I have no idea. <clears throat> I haven't heard from her in a while. At which I just realized they get to be a sub to Vandy last month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that tends to happen in Vandress's uh, channel. Generally speaking, if you're a core part of her community, um, you'll basically be bullied to never leave, ever. That's just how that works. We don't make the rules, it just happens. that much warm fuzziness. Me neither, but uh, it's good shit. It's a very wholesome community, like super wholesome.
Oh my god. I just re-remembered. I still haven't done anything to celebrate 100 followers. Like, I completely keep forgetting that I need to do something about it, and then I just completely fades out of my brain. air vents all the way then. Uh, uh, let's go back for these air vents then. <clears throat> Face field and game charity marathon? I don't know. Marathons are going to be very hard for me to do though. I'm, uh, I'm a very sleepy boy. I have no idea what I'm going to do. And at some point I asked for ideas, and I don't think I ever was given, so I might do that, I don't know, we'll see. What I do know is that it's going to be fun whatever I choose to do. <laughs> oh, I just realized something I could do. I could do a uh, suffering, I could do a sufferthon. I keep talking about how I want to play getting over it, and I want to beat it at some point. Maybe I just do a thing where I stream that game and only that game for like... Six or eight hours, maybe? I don't know. Would you guys be interested in watching me suffer? Because that game does it to me. If you're on the suffering. Shot in front of this so far. Actually, I know what I could do. I've been meaning to be Pantheon 5 on Hollow Knight forever. And I just straight up keep not doing it because I keep forgetting about it. I could. <clears throat> do a Pantheon 5 training montage thing, where I just constantly train up for that. Get good at Radiance, if I can get really good at Radiance and consistent with Radiance. I could probably beat it. It might be fun. Well, for me. I don't know about you guys. But then I just love Hollow Knight, so you know there's also that. Cat <laughs> uh, stream and tell the cat cam and target to the audience. Yeah, I could do that too. Speed of cats, my cats are currently eating each other. Ireland, could you leave Mittens alone? Alright, hold on a second, I'm actually a little concerned. Alright, I'm back. 
Mittens was uh, probably bugging Ireland for whatever reason. And Ireland decided to just chop down her neck for a little while, and I was like, I think I'll set her free. So I distracted him with some uh, other kitty toy. Little stringy do. He loves a stringy do. Well, somewhat. Like, he'll pay attention to it because he wants to eat it, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, I could just do a cat cam stream. I've done that before, actually. I even have a scene set up for it and everything. Those are always chill and fun. My wish list appears to be not clicky. Oh, the throne one? Yeah, I don't know how to make it work, um, if I'm being completely honest with you. I don't know how to make it actually function properly. I wish I did, but I don't. I'll take a look at it real fast. If I click on this, no. I don't know how to get that to work, honestly. I'll have to look into it later. Susan Barn, I can help you kill her. Alright, I will do that. Okay, just checking out none of these things. Honestly, I don't either. That said, as a user, of course, your mouse, I approve of your mouse wishes. Yeah. So I picked two. <coughs> the one I prefer, I think, is called the Iron Claw? It's my personal favorite mouse. I love it to bits. But uh, the one I have, and the only flaw I have, or I can really see with the mouse, and that I've run into, is the middle click. You can't really take it out to like clean which is aggravating as all hell because right now my middle click is completely useless <laughs> it's really frustrating but like i need middle click for a lot of things like middle click is a default option to ping things at risk of rain it's what i use to target enemies i might find a way to change that <clears throat> but it's awkward because like, I like to be able to target enemies easily with my mouse, but we'll see. I'm also a weirdo who doesn't play with um, keyboard or with a controller when it comes to Souls games, so... For most people, that's not a problem. For me, it actually kind of is, especially with the setup I use. Alright, no more stubby. Let's go with short extension. <clears throat> yeah, that'll do it, I think. Alright, I'm actually going to go back to stubby. I'm just going to use my yellow, I think, at this point. So I'm high up. There we go. Would I like disassembly instructions? Honestly, yeah, I would love disassembly instructions for the Iron Claw. Every article I read basically said that it shouldn't be taken apart. That's why I haven't bothered to try. Because that's the only thing wrong with the mouse, is the middle click. But I use the middle click so much. Um, Oh, you're talking like super disassembly. Holy shit. I could pro 
probably handle that. What kind of screws are those? Hold on. Oh, they're just really tiny Phillips, it looks like. <clears throat> Step one is a plastic clippy thing, it seems. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me, too. Did you also send that to me in Discord by chance? If I'm not right, it which seems to be uplifted for a Chinese forum post. That sounds about right, honestly. But yeah, if I can get the middle click to work properly again, um, then this mouse is just perfectly fine. And I, I don't want to change it because this is by far the most comfortable mouse I've used. And it's not like super overly complicated either. Like there's some mice out there that are like, oh, hey, we have weights you can use and you can change the and customize your weight. And I'm just like, just give me a lightweight mouse, man. I don't care. I don't need it to be hefty or anything. If I want hefty, I'll get a plastic bag and use it as a garbage bag. That's what hefty is to me. Like, I don't need that. All right, you know what? I am going to actually use a short extension for this. Yeah, it seems to be doing a little bit better of a job. freaking serious? Did I clean the opposite side too? No, I did not. Okay, I was like, how? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ponytail. Appreciate it. Platform one, com platform rather, is complete. I guess now I'll do the thing where I uh, watch it like this. Please align. There we go. I like the texture that you have on this concrete too when you wash over. It's really nice. It's a nice little touch, you know.
It's actually kind of soothing. <clears throat> You're all shot for the night. Have a lovely stream. All right, we'll do. You also have a lovely night. Enjoy rest and the respite. Hopefully tomorrow won't be as insane as today was for both of us. Bye. There we go. Right, I'm back. yellow. And actually, I forgot to clean this. Yeah, I did. Jesus. Well, what's this, I guess? Why do you do this to me? I 
my big mess. Actually, I have other things I need to eat first before I eat the engine. Man, now it's the forbidden one. I really want to be enjoyed now. platform ledge on the other side already? I did, yes. Perfect. I am lots of PB and J now. Subway were in a coast for another 30 years until community funding allowed for its renovation. It ran until 1984 when the main tunnel's extensive report repointing finally failed thankfully in the dead of night. That's a whole lot of words for the subway station's fucked. Okay, Vandris, I have to know. You made a PB and J, but what kind of peanut butter and what kind of jelly? Smooth grape. Okay. That's what we usually eat here at home.
Yay. Okay. goes to the halfway point up this wall. I don't take care of the lights and whatnot. Short extension. City Stadium Caldera Tour, 18th of July, 1984, 100 mile event, 24th Dirt Championship. <clears throat> I'm sorry, did that say Pasties Racing Team? Dear Lord. Miller Dare, Slammer 18, 812, oops, sorry. Griswold slash Rubicon, Durian 81, Hopkins de la Fuego, 
Anise, 745. Interesting. I do recall washing that car off, though.
Hey Zavina, how's it going? Welcome on in. <clears throat> Just trying to wrap up this uh, subway station. I feel like we're making pretty good progress, if I'm being honest with you. Oh, there's several lights down there. All right. Yeah, this subway station is taking me all straight. It's uh, it's very large. <laughs> Long extension now for the rest of the ceiling, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess. We're getting there. Stream start free for a while? That's odd. Well, anyway, welcome on in. Poppy Killer, hey! How's you doing tonight, Zombie Knot? You doing well? Did you eat anything delicious? Do anything super fun? My day was, uh. was alright. Just kind of stressful. But it was okay. Long story short, um, in the database they have uh, they redone some of the naming conventions of variables. And long story short, it's broken more than anticipated. Like they didn't think it would break anything, and it's uh, it's broken a few things that we weren't expecting. So it's just been a lot of 
determining defects or bugs, whatever, however you want to phrase it. And trying to find clients' workarounds for things that they used to be able to do before the upgrade, but it's okay otherwise. <coughs> I did have my first uh, phone call though today. My first phone call at this place in terms of uh, like client phone calls, not like meetings if that makes sense. Like I spoke with a client today for the first time, so I'm trying to get at. And I think I impressed. It was kind of nice. I haven't had a phone call with a customer in like a long time, so it was nice to actually do that. So yeah, we just cleaned this entire subway station. It took a while. I was fairly methodical about it, though. <sighs> uh. Commissioner Barry Onyx at Muckingham Subway Station says, Your work has been signed off. Congratulations. Clean Fortune Teller's Wagon. Buckingham Recreational Ground for 400 bucks. The Uncanny Franny at Buckingham Recreation Ground says, Check out my new wheels. Everyone says I could talk the hind legs off a turkey, so I'm joining the traveling fairground as a fortune teller. Got the name and now I've got the ride. Picked it up from an old lady at a bargain price online. I was the only bidder. She wasn't happy and said she'd curse me if I didn't pay her the going rate but it's not my fault she didn't set a reserve price. It's not like she even looked after the wagon. It's covered in anything and everything you can imagine. The rest of the fairground is pristine, so please help. It's a lot of little parts. Oh, shit. All right, let's do this. <clears throat> let's get out my stubby. My god, this thing's filthy. Hey, why don't you be my first subject? That's a weird way to phrase it, but sure. I'll divine your past and future based on the ancient technique of water divination. <clears throat> Let us, let us spring. <laughs> What's funny about that is I used to actually think that's what the priest was saying when I went to church. I legitimately thought they were saying let us spray and it was super weird. I'm like, I know he's not saying that, but that's what I hear every single time that they say let us pray. Sorry, there's a killer around here. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. I'm your friendly neighborhood killer. You know the one. No, you don't. You have a private idea, but that's okay. All right. Could I please get this pricing board done and done? Done and dusted, even, maybe? Okay. Where else is this thing dirty? Oh, here. Okay. <clears throat> Glad that you got the client claw. Oh. Hey. Yeah, it made me happy. I I'm not as rusty as I thought. Thank you. It's always nice to be able to make a call and realize, hey, I'm not so bad at this shit, you know? I actually can do things, and I'm not completely worthless in terms of work, you know? Oh, 
band of Syrah being paged. Hey Vandris. If you ever decide to get a doctor persona in the uh, in the Vanderverse, could you name them Doctor Wandwis? I would love that. Dr. Wandwis. But yeah, I say it like Wandwis. I don't know why. Just, that's how I imagine it in my brain. Did I actually get the handrail? No. There we go. God, staircase, please. <clears throat> what else is dirty?
Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that makes sense. That that checks out. My God. All right, for this entry platform, I'm like, where? Oh, wait a minute. Did I ever get this crisscross? No, I did not. Okay. Oh, this was my mind there for a second, guys. I'm like, where is it? Since you're someone who used to be a wishy-washy, always fitting, flitting from one thing to another. But now you have this renewed focus, like the 50 degree nozzle of a quality pressure washer. Just wash one side now, I guess.
God, they're still launching fireworks. Why? I'm so sick of hearing fireworks, man. feel this need to wash away the sins and malaise of the unfortunate. At first I read that as mayonnaise, but that's not mayonnaise, that's malaise. This isn't just dislodging moths and muddy streaks, it's almost become a compulsion for you, a compulsion that's threatening to take over your life. Wow. Thanks lady. Way to call me out on stream. Do you really have to do that? You feel better now that you called me out? Rude. I mean, dear God. Ladder. <clears throat> nope. Yes. There we go. Okay. Wonderful.
Can I please just get this chest done? Great. Oh, I see. It's a suck. Everything? <sighs> Not for the storage cupboard. It'll be over. <clears throat> My god, come on. Where else is it dirty? There. Oh my god. Okay, there. Please never have to wash this again. That's done. Other side's still dirty, apparently. Oh, oh well, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So 
Axel Mount needs to be done. Okay, why are you still dirty? I actually can't tell. Uh, that's not good. Uh, well. I see. There we go. That was a rough tough or a rough uh, shot. Your future is really quite amazing, really. I almost well, the players are going to be deliberately vague here, but there are things you're going to do and see beyond your imagination a little. And the next little out there are going to blow your mind. That without you, this entire planet is lost. Wow. Okay.
There's a cat in this ball. Thank you. Oh my god, please let me in. Thank you. Where where? Where's where's the dirt though? Like for real? That will spray wildly and so let's clean. What's that? There we go. Alright. Perfect. It's open, right? Nope. Perfect. I don't need to do that. There we go. Come on. 
Really? I just have to clean up here now? Like this, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Focus on that last, I think. For right now, let's try this. Hey, Doc, how's the wash? I'm back up on Rumbling Rushless. I'd say this another time with the data is off the charts. How so, man? How so? I hope I'm wrong, but she looks ready to blow, and if she does, Muckingham is in real danger. There it is. Okay.
go. Go. Got it. Okay, there we go. This, I guess. Be very careful. No! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, fine. You know what? Just for like this. It's fine. Everything's fine. Mostly. Oh, okay. <clears throat> this entire clean is just so complicated honestly
okay, but like, where do I go now? <clears throat> do I just need to do this now? I cleaned something. That's done. Okay, you're done. Something about fascia now. I guess I'll fascia the truth. Okay, so somehow I need to clean this up more. Oh, you know what? It's probably up here. Yep. Okay, I understand now. <clears throat> yes. I understand. Mostly. Kind of. Not really. All right. somehow clean more there. Do I go up here? How, where? Okay. So I can clean that part. Now what? What am I missing? <clears throat> Bay window supports. Ah, I see. Okay. Chimney. That. <laughs> Okay, there. <laughs> this game is hard sometimes. <laughs> okay, so five. Oh my freaking god. Seriously? Please, just let me get the freaking chimney. There we go. Okay. Got it. Okay, chimney uh, gotten. Entry corbels. Okay. Roof decorations. Fuck are those? <laughs> I also haven't cleaned the skylight roof ribs. Oh, I probably just need it do this on each side or something and then we're good, right? Right? Please? Yep. Okay. This roof is ripped for your pleasure. Okay, that's done. Oh, I probably need to clean these decorations. Twit actually makes sense. Yeah. It's got stinky butt. Come on. Clean it. Got you. Okay. Now what? 
roof decorative trims. I see. Okay, I need the ladder. Skylight roof rib. I missed a rib. Oh, I missed this one. Probably because I need to do this side. Yeah, okay. Wall trims. Let's get the step stool. <clears throat> okay, that one's done. Assuming the other side has some sort of similar situation. It does, yes. Window frame. Ah, it's this one. Hey! Sonia Almudin says, Is this the Wishy Washers? I got your details from your friend Harper, who's helping us with an historic dig. Fancy getting involved. No, not tonight. <clears throat> Good God. I'm tired today. Oh. These are two long projects, man. This is only 400 bucks, too. Man, that's crap. Wagon looks great. Thanks so much. Mind how you go, eh? So the next thing I'm going to power wash is apparently an ancient statue. It seems like a terrible idea to have me power wash an ancient statue. Alright, but before we go... Let's see if I could buy all the rest of the things that exist. Bye. Bye. I've already got soaps. I now own everything that matters. I could buy more soap if I want, but meh. Alright. How do I tell how many different cleaning liquids I have anyway? I have three of each. Okay. Oh, I can't buy... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, whatever. My math is off, but it's okay. I'm broke, but I have everything, so that's fine. I am exhausted, so I'm going to quit. Which means I'm going to hit the ending stream here, and I'm going to figure out who is online that we can raid. Who exists? There's many people online, holy crap. Uh, 
You know what? I haven't been to Rankster in a hot minute. Let's go invade, or er, invade, raid a Rankster. <laughs> One moment. Oh, sorry about that. Anyway, thank you all again so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. But I'm going to go to sleep because I am freaking exhausted. But before I go, I'd like to remind you all to eat right, hydrate, and to take care of your mental health. To spread love and joy to the world and keep improving a little each day. Y'all are loved, are lovely, and I'll see you all next time. Good night, everyone.